Okay, here I'm going to be showing you two ways you can protect your plants. One of them is going to be insect netting, and one of them is going to be reflective mulch here. So insect netting, uh, I think it's going to be a wave of the future because it's the only item that will work 100% assuming that it's installed properly. This physical barrier between the insects and the plants eliminate the need for any applications on the leaves. And this also works 24 hours a day, whether it's a very rainy spring or whether it's a very dry spray, you don't have to keep applying anything. Works great in raised bed situations, as we see here, and also in long field applications. Now, insect netting, there's different mesh sizes to control certain insects. So the finer mesh sizes are advised if we're trying to control really small things, like uh, aphids would be an example, and larger, typically less expensive, larger mesh sizes can be used for larger insects. Depends on what insect you're specifically trying to control will determine what insect netting you purchase. Now it's more than just um, a crop cover. It's also highly recommended to install in your season extenders. So for example, your high tunnels, uh, doorways in and out, uh, venting sides, uh, fans, anything that you have in greenhouses, this should be all covered with insect netting, maintaining that physical separation. If you're going to put it on a door, don't have, make it in a hinge door because they can get stuck open or be left open. Uh, have some way that you can have to lift maybe a portion of the net to get in, and so it self-closes. This physical barrier is not a new idea, so while it's being newly applied for insects, bird netting on grapes is very common to keep birds out um, from picking away at all the wonderful grapes before they're harvested. The other thing I wanted to mention for protecting your plants would be reflective mulches. This would be silver plastic reflects sunlight. It's not the same as gray plastic, so I had a farmer get into that issue where you want the silver, the shiny, the chrome. When you apply it, be sure you wear sunglasses even on cloudy days because it does reflect the sun and it is quite bright. Uh, the goal is to confuse, so how do these work? The goal is to confuse insects so they cannot tell where the protective underside of the leaf is. It's great for thrips, which are a common pest on onions we see here. Even though this is not 100% um, all reflective, there's that black strip running down the center, it's still advantageous. So even though reflective mulches may not be 100% effective, if you're going to apply a plastic kind of barrier here for weed suppression, it's worth a consideration because it can aid in reducing, especially when plants are small, at reducing the chance of thrip pressure on onions.